feelings. All right, work through your feelings. It slid out Aries energy. All right, uh, last quarter moon in Aries. All right, I'm going to put it back in a reshuffle because it just kind of fell out. Welcome, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, um, all that. Thank you for the donations and the super chats. I appreciate you guys. The super thanks. Thank you. Any little bit helps at this point. So um, the description box uh, will tell you what you need to know to donate to the channel or to email me for a personal. All right. I appreciate you guys. Join the membership. I'm going to be doing um, on the top tier, yes and no questions, live, live streaming. All right. All right, guys. You're the best. Let's see what comes out. What do you need to be aware of for your greatest good? It says forgive. Or it says take inspired action. We got Pisces and Virgo. Okay. We got more Virgo. Assess the situation. All right. And the bottom is uh, full, full moon and Leo. Go wild. So... I have a feeling someone is wanting forgiveness or you're needing to forgive someone, all right? Could be a Pisces or a Virgo, or this, this could be you, all right? It says take inspired action and assess the situation. So let's find out what this is about because, you know, I feel like someone, oh, I got a red flag here. So pay attention to the red flags. You can forgive somebody, but you don't have to do it to their face. I feel like you guys have already forgiven the people you need to forgive, all right? Because we're not holding ourselves back, and this is still here, all right? I got earth sign behind it. All right, what else What else does the um, viewers need to know, please? Abuse of power, okay? So this is, or you could abuse as well. I got an incoming message to email to our letter. And we got a victory here, all right? So this is what you would be forgiving this person for, abuse, abusing you, um, abusing their power when it comes to you, okay? Or just abuse, all right? It says take inspired action, so I feel like somebody's getting ready to reach out. It says assess the situation and then victory. So let's pull another row here. All right, we got blocked from the, from, all right, so this person's getting readings on you. All right, they're blocked from from seeing what you got going on, probably for good reason. All right, we got past life soulmate. All right, you're about to receive some sort of message from a past life soulmate, whether it's this person or someone else. We will get into that. All right, now uh, we'll and we got this is you breaking curses victoriously. Okay, this could be one of the curses you're breaking on your bloodline is abuse, domestic violence, abuse. Okay, um, financial abuse, all sorts of abuse. All right. all right, what else? Blocked by family. Okay, so you're being blocked by your family, and they're about to have a um, tower, or this incoming call is going to bring in some sort of tower, some big change. And we got water signs, you could be dealing with. I mean, Pisces is here, so. We got loss of gifts and abilities. So this person, whatever abuse of power, they could be doing, um, they could be very manipulative. Um, they could have some sort of um, spiritual gifts that are being taken from them until they can figure out, um, clear their karmic debt and uh, do right by people that they try to destroy. Okay, that is unwarranted. All right. All right. So let's see. Let's pull some tarot on this. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go here first. What else do we need to know about the situation? Forgive. Death spell. Help is on the way. So this is what you're forgiving this person for trying to... This person did a death spell on you, whether magic or like paid a practitioner or did it themselves or they spoke to somebody to end you or end stuff for you. Help is on the way though. What's this? 
doctors couldn't save? I don't know who that is. Someone, did someone die? I don't know. Not that into you? So if this, this person may have told somebody something that they turned their back on you. This is not that into you. Or maybe you weren't into this person, so this is what they did. All right, but I am going to get more. And they did a freezer spell on you. Listen, this, per this person tried to freeze your progress, all right, whether it's holding back money from you or made you have a, you know, you had a child with this person and they abandoned all responsibilities altogether, whether they tried to make your life even more difficult on purpose. Okay, stolen from you, lied on you, cheated on you, all right? Yeah, stepfather. I don't know. Doctors couldn't save your stepfather? Or did your stepfather say this relationship wasn't worth saving? I don't know. It could be that too, okay? But you're being asked to assess the situation. All right, Aquarius, and we got wish fulfillment. So you got wish fulfillment coming in, all right? It's giving, because uh, you healed or something's being exposed about this freezer spell and this death spell and help is on the way. And we got someone who's a badass, all right? This could be you guys, all right? Yeah, let's do one more row and then I'm going to... Stepmother. All right, so we got we got the step parents out here, and we got Aries. So these people could have abused their authority with with, with this situation here. A stepmother and a stepfather. All right. All right. Physical court. So something's happening in physical court. We got someone's not sleeping. Could be the stepmother here because they did a death spell on you. I'm getting Scorpio energy. All right. And Gemini. So we got the lovers out here. So some sort of choice these people made. They're losing sleep about it. The choice. And, and you could be dealing with a father figure as well that um, made bad choices here. So something's in physical court. Maybe that's where they made some sort of uh, bad decision. Uh, they <clears throat> we got fake friend. So you could be dealing with a Gemini who's a fake friend to you. All right. Oh. All right. Let's just keep going. We got high priest or priestess. This could be you guys. Or someone's just using their intuition about the situation when it comes to dealing with a fake friend and a stepmother and a stepfather. A death spell, a freezer spell. Help is on the way. Doctors couldn't say. I feel a backfire here. All right. Spiritual court. So this, I feel like this already took place in spiritual court or this is about um, some sort of union here. All right. So this high priest or priestess is high vibrational. There's a message of concern for a knight of cups. This could be that Pisces we talked about. Okay, there's a message of concern. Right, one more row and then meditate and drink water. Now you got a new business idea getting ready to pop in your head and it's coming to you straight from the divine. But you got these narcissists around you because you're a god or a goddess. You've tapped in. All right. New guy. All right, so there's a new guy coming towards you, possibly. All right. Or someone's going to say they're a new guy or something like that. All right, let's pull a few more of these, and um, we'll go from there. I hope everybody's well. I just had some lady pay for my stuff at the store. I let her go in front of me, and she paid for my order. Very nice. My cat food. So it does pay to be nice, you know, it does. And, and I don't do it for any other reason, but just I was in no hurry and she really had nothing in her hands. So I just let her go in front of me and she ended up paying for my the cat food and I had, you know, a coffee. 
So that's nice. You might be getting people doing nice things for you, uh, strangers, um, because it's time for you to receive what you've been putting out all your life when people were ungrateful or just didn't, didn't. Now they notice it when you pulled your energy back. Now they notice with the lack of love in their life is and people are all uh, shysty. Okay, so these are the people that you're not narcissistic people you've been dealing with. All right. Uh, some of y'all have a whole gaggle of narcissists you've been dealing with and trying to fight off your energy and they just don't stop. They won't stop. This is about some sort of stability. All right. Africa and someone um, is come, trying to make a decision or freeing themselves. All right. And we got exuberance. So you can be happy. Okay. And the bottom of the deck is reflection. So you could have, you could be reflecting or um, other people are reflecting on things that, you know, transpired. Let's see. Green. So the heart chakra, heart healing. So you're, you're healing and it's helping your stability. All right. We got family. We got circle of life. So maybe this is what you're freeing yourself from. So you can have some sort of um, family or soul family or you're freeing yourself from something here. There's some sort of communication getting ready to come in. That's going to make you very, very happy. All right. Bottom of the deck is warrior of light. Beautiful. Yes. All right. Let's do one more row and then I'll pull the tarot on, on that energy. All right. Whatever spirit needs you guys to know, I feel like that. All right. What's this here? Stability. We got the open door, Christ within. So y'all tapping into your Christ, the Christ consciousness, all right? I feel like they really wanted to stop you from tapping into that. It's too late. I'm seeing from the numbers 39, 49, and five and 32 all right so five five is here we got a sacred mission jesus and mary i'm sorry say yes yeah, sacred mission that's what it says a shared mission all right so you got a shared mission with somebody all right and we got um respond softly okay to the children all right, gentleness. And we got Mary, mothering and nurture. Yes, okay, so we get that. All right, let's put these back and let's pull um, pull on this. Whatever, whatever divine needs y'all to know, that's what's gonna come out here, okay? deck to use let's do let's pull a couple of these and yeah, these can go away. and I get this deck right here so I'm gonna pull some tea yeah this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna start with this deck and I'm gonna clarify with that deck I need some clarifying decks that's a clarifying deck too all right let's do it all right, what is the message, please? Five cards, and then I'll clarify. Or six. Six cards. So if someone wants to come in and offer you something, yeah, they do. Look. This person is just taking a little while to get to you or something. You could be juggling at this time, or... Someone could be going back and, back and forth. Let's see. Something to do with work. Someone's under judgment. Two of Cups. So two, two is here. All right. So I got all pentacles here. And a, a two of Cups judgment. All right. Someone's coming in to offer you something stable. Or you're moving. You've been doing the work. You're about to get this blessing here. Okay. You could have been um, juggling your finances for a while. Okay, or you work, you could work as a, as a, you could shuffle cards, see? All right, but you, you're working diligently. 
and it's bringing some sort of judgment on a two of cups so this was this that's like sacred union or shared union or something mission all right so let's see what else we need to know about this the bottom of the deck is communication coming in uh that's going to be difficult so someone could be sending energy towards your heart i get the heart card a lot come out yeah someone's starting drama all right they just don't know when to stop all right can you clarify this knight of pentacles please Something you've been working on is bringing judgment to a marriage or a union you were in, a soulmate connection. Screenshot, okay? So someone's coming in. There's some sort of proof here or someone's getting some sort of photo evidence here. Not photo evidence, a screenshot. A screenshot. This is what someone's coming towards you with. Some sort of screenshot or facts or proof of something. This is Ace of Pentacles. You're too busy winning, okay? I feel like you don't care about no screenshots. What's this over here? Someone's always partying. Oh, this is so someone juggled you? They juggled you, okay? You're receiving this Ace of Pentacles. You're too busy winning. This person's always partying, so they're broke, okay? This could be who you're dealing with. Okay, this person juggled you and they're juggling their finances, okay? Or this is what they said about you. You you, you guys get put where it belongs, all right? What's this eight of pentacles? Someone's holding a grudge. So they're doing some sort of work or, or about your work. Someone's holding a grudge. What's this judgment? Dodging bullets. So they want to make an offer, but I feel like you don't want it because what's in that cup, all right? It looks nice, but I feel like it's not nice. You might have drank the cup, all right? I feel like you're not accepting any offers from this person or these people. It could be, it could be like jumping the same, the, same, the same energy in different people. You could be getting that type of energy. Yeah, they had you in a love triangle. This was supposed to be a sacred shared union mission, whatever. And this person got you in a love triangle. Okay, and they're broke because they're always partying. They don't take care of their responsibilities is coming through as well. Let's pull one more card for each. What's the screenshot? Fake flexing. This person gonna tell you that they got this, that, and the other thing, but they can't they can't take care of their responsibilities is what I'm getting. Alright. Was this too busy winning? This person shows off, acts rich. There's some, some some sort of proof about this though. This or they're trying to get some sort of evidence on you. I don't know, but something's being wiped clean here. They're trying to um erase any evidence here of this of this screenshot or something. I don't know, but they're dealing with karmic friends. That's why they're always partying. These aren't their friends. They just use them for their money. Um, it says, can't fully trust them. Secret competition. So whether this is who this person's dealing with or that's who, who you've been dealing with here. What's this grudge holder? We got wolf in sheep's clothing and rejected. So I feel like you know who this person is and you rejected this person. Okay. Uh, you also got this dog here. So you could be dealing with someone who has a pet. All right. It could be a dog. But someone rejected this person because they're false. All right. Now they're holding a grudge on you because of it. All right. Does this person have you in a love triangle with somebody else here? But you're unfazed. They could be saying you ain't ish, but you are because it came out in reverse. So whatever they're saying ain't true. You are ish. <laughs> you you are the ish, all right? And this person's in reverse because they're karmic, okay? All right. Photo proof. So there's some sort of evidence about uh, multiple lovers. This person got photo proof. Okay, so good. Groupies. How many? So how many? This is how many? I don't know. That's what it looks like. 
Let me get another deck here. I love the spirits tell me everything. <laughs> They're like, how does she know? Because they tell me. That's how. They got my back. They got the collective's back. All right. I know that's a tough pill to swallow because y'all did a lot. Way too much is what I'm hearing. Y'all did too much. All right. Tell us more about this situation here. What's this fake flexing screenshot? Is this what they're going to offer you? A screenshot or pretend that they get this, that, and the other thing? Or is this how they got you in the first place? By lying. Telling you everything but the truth. Right? Yeah, it's about a house or your stability, all right? This person could be lying about their stability or yours. All right, what's this? Or they took something from you. I don't know. We got rich girl. You could be this queen of pentacles. This is you too busy winning, all right? You're blissful. So this made them happy to always be partying with these fake karmic friends, and now they're broke and you're happy. You're, you're in this blissful energy, all right? What's this? Ascending. Someone's obsessed with your ascension. They're obsessed with it. Obsessing over your ascension or your beauty. Because this person is beautiful. And they're just like... All right. What's this? Divination. With something you're doing, you could be doing um, re divination, all right? Um, is bringing some sort of judgment on these people, okay? Or this person, the chakras, you're in alignment, something to do with your job. We got a doctor out here putting stuff in drinks or something, okay? That's what it looks like. Number 34, number 73 could be significant, 57. So they got some sort of um, photo proof of this. The love spell. Something was put in your drink, okay? By a doctor or a doctor. I'm getting specifically a doctor, okay? Because you're in alignment, something you're doing with divination, or, or people are under judgment for pulling cards on you because it came out, they're blocked from your Akashic records. They can't see what you got going on. All right. Let's see, what's at the bottom? Oh, the ancestors saw everything. The ancestors saw. Now they're acting shocked or surprised, but they got an entity attached. 49 could be significant. Uh, someone received unexpected money and someone else is mad about it. Oh, because they got this money because they, they hate they hate on you. Some, something someone does for work. They could make love spells or something. Someone's surprised. But someone got an entity attached. They could be 49. Or this is what age they were when they attached. I don't know. But someone receives some sort of unexpected money or you're receiving unexpected money and they're mad about it. The ancestors are here watching everything. All right. Let's just pull a few more. All right. We got emotional pain. Yeah, they don't like that you changed. All right. They're in emotional pain, or you were in emotional pain, so you changed, okay? And you're working on yourself. You're doing the work. You're putting the work in. So they're doing voodoo. One. Listen, please get a life. They're doing voodoo on you still. On the court, they're doing voodoo on the court, and they're lying, lying and stuff and doing witchcraft on this court case. Okay, or on the people involved, so they won't help you. I already knew. 
But guess what? Everything has a purpose. You're trying to put an end to you traveling or leaving. Divine Masculine is unbothered, but someone else is concerned that you're unbothered. They're wondering why. Why are you unbothered? Because God, that's why. Yeah, because you're protected. Look at this. Someone's thinking about you. Tell us more about this Divine Masculine here. Child? One more. Ancestors. The ancestors saw what you're doing to this child, or this is a new beginning, or a child. You put in how it fits, it could be a new business, okay? But the ancestors approve, but I don't think they approved of you making this child cry, or leaving this child in emotional pain. I don't think that's, they're okay with, yeah, they're, they're not okay with that. What else do they need to know? They're doing rituals on your achievement or something you do ritualistically you're about to be recognized for. All right. Yeah, and it's going to clear your pathway. And this person is on the path straight to prison and poverty. Okay? This is what these people can expect or this person can expect. Because your pathway is clear and they need to stop doing voodoo or witchcraft or whatever. They should stop. I feel like you're leaving all this behind. All right. Yeah, you're blocked. Listen. These people are blocked from your energy because they're trying to block your manifestations too. I just saw that. Okay. But you're this star seed here. And this is the opposition. They all beat up. Okay. Because this. Because they wanted to be involved in something they should never have been. They should have just minded their damn business back there. Look. Stay out of people's business. Especially star seeds. You nuts. It's about to rain on you guys. It's like take it up with God if you don't like what God is doing for somebody else. Were you going to be out here doing death magic because someone loves themselves? So you get the karma. And you get actual money collected. And what's behind that? A no love offer coming in. All right? That's what you guys get. There's a good love offer coming in. Yeah, and a healthy relationship. I feel like you guys know this. If you know, you know. All right? Let's do uh, one of these. Yeah, they said this one. <sighs> what a shame. Isn't it a shame? It's a shame. It's a shame. The way you're messing around with my heart. Now they got to sit in that. What they put you through, now they're feeling it. Right? And they want to take it out on you. Because they're sick. All right. We got life purpose. Someone's in their life purpose. Okay? And you do what, what you desire. This is what do you desire? Ask for it and it will come to you now. Change in direction. All right? So you guys are getting ready to move and listen to trustworthy guidance. I'm going to read this one. It says, you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, then, then they'll rush into your life like magic. Let's read this one too. It says, The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy in yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose, and then your purpose will serve you. Okay? I love you guys. Thanks for being here again. Please hit the like button. I greatly appreciate that. And for those of you who already do that, thank you. I love you guys.